and more or less we're going to make a uh, kind of air cleaner or something like lamp or something like this uh, this is a good example for that this is something we will try to make try to uh, be close to today uh, and also this um, hose method it's um, it's also um, available to make kind of handles or something like that so you'll see you'll use it as as your imagination will tell you <coughs> but anyway I'll just give you an inspiration so uh, so let's let's start um, so first of all I'll show you what I have already um, done today so this is kind of kind of couple of mm, uh, examples of this method so that each of them is made separately by the different me method applying a uh, different kind of continuity that one is this is the final result of one chosen method and it's and it's looking uh, like a realistic product so your goal in this assignment will be to achieve some realistic product Mm. So first of all, I'll show the examples of using that method. Of course, we're starting our Rhino in small objects, millimeters as usual. So there are two kind of problems in that kind of um, hole making. The problems is regarding surface of or the continuity so i will place two objects on my stage one will be cylinder and another will be just a box Okay, and you will see how this kind of method behaves on sp on specific uh, surfaces and a specific object. Yeah. So first, I will just make a hole inside. It's going to be round hole, and the second, I'm going to place more advanced, like a um, like a rectangle or rounded rectangle, which which will show you how in different situation different. Um, surface are behave okay so I'm going to place the circle in front of the object so you have to f remember uh, that uh, my that your object your cylinder must be the crosses of that cylinder must be constructed along axes otherwise you're gonna have a problem with the uh, uh, you're gonna have a problem with um, symmetry or or with other uh, uh, construction of surface right let's go back I'm going to place a circle into in here and also in somewhere in there yeah? and I'm I will cut that into my object but first I have to apply visibility of surface because I don't have anything here now I have got isoparm which I can touch uh, when I trim like that yeah, this is this is helping all right <coughs> I've got two holes and now I will place just a normal blend you know that comment from the shaping of mm, uh, many objects so today you will you will see how you can uh, carve that that uh, structure uh, somewhere between uh, between inside yeah uh, uh, 
Okay, someone is recording. Please stop recording right now because I am recording, and uh, and it's not. Yeah, yeah. So it's not necessary to record. Okay, just stop recording because more or less this is. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm going to give you the most in important information in that tutorial, and I wouldn't like you to uh, to record today. All right. So let's place the blend over there. Yeah, and remember, arrows must always point one direction, might and must be somewhere in the center of symmetry. Okay, so look, so this is what what happens. Mm, something went wrong. Okay. All right. Okay, this is what happens when you try to place the blend. Normally, it's just not a very unusual situation. You, um, there is continuity of each uh, place on the edge, because the edge is information. The, the ed edge contains information about continuity of surface. So that's why there is that much of curvature, because there is certain amount of that curvature. Uh, Continuity. I can decrease that by just scaling up that that um, controller. And now it's much better. But you see <coughs> that I have placed a circle over there, yeah, and now in the middle we've got ellipsoid. This is because of the construction of that um, uh, trimming I've, I've done at the beginning. You see that the ellipsoid is always also here. There's no flat surface, yeah. So the continuity is different on each edge of surface at, of each point of surface so though this information pushed the surface to create ellipsoid inside and this is very mathematical ellip uh, mathematical ellipsoid as long as you just move that uh, that mm, uh, controller here but we don't want to move it now okay so that that's how it looks on a rounded surface and now I'm going to show you how it looks on this uh, very flat surface And when you decrease that amount, it's more or less very parametric. Inside is a circle, it's a perfect circle. Because from each side of that surface, there's the same situation, the same continuity, the same information. Uh, is opposition to that, where everywhere, from every part of surface, the continuity and the information, mathematical data, is much, much different. It's it's very every point very that's why it's like this yeah in this situation each point is the same so now we want we have something like that how we can control it basically blend com command is only control controlled by their own controllers as you seen during the creating but there is a couple of questions right now the first question is what if I will have if I really want to have round profile inside of the cylinder, as you see. So let's try to make that test. So now I will copy that project and I will just take a... I will delete this information and I will make the same holes. But in this case I need to borrow the profile. So for, let's say I want to have the round profile in uh, in a cylinder and the oval profile in a square format. Okay. So now first I will just kind of uh, duplicate or kind of uh, uh, take the profiles in from the middle to keep them in the same in a, in a pro in my project. Uh, in my two um, solids. To do so, I will just now uh, project this uh, very straight line onto my profiles, wh which I've made previously, like I did so. Now I'll move it uh, aside, and now I'll place it inside. So this one will be inside here. I'm going to catch it like here. 
from the top view I'm placing it in a cylinder mm -hmm. and I'm going to do the same thing here with the oval with the ellipsoid the center on the front view so this is totally opposite situation yeah and what to do now so this is kind of <coughs> this is kind of my experience uh, to get to get to the point how to do it I've been using many uh, tests many like uh, many different ways to get there many experiments but finally at the end the method is very simple but the method you, to, to understand that method you have to understand one thing before because hang on someone is before before i started i'll show you what's the method and then you will not know how how important is it so you have to understand curvature yeah so if you want to get curvature smoothness or continuity let's say for example this is the <coughs> curve so i've got a first point second point and a third point when i want to create a curvature it's always uh, exactly on the parallel to the point the, to the second point so i see as you see when i'm going to copy that using mirror this point will be opposite there on the other side yeah so i will show you that this is very important information i'm going to place the mirror over there like that like so and now if i will turn the points you see this point is exactly opposite and in the middle is that point yeah to prove it i will just draw the line between those points you see there's the point is on that line in the middle it does does not matter how I, how i will say that as long as those points are exactly opposite here there is continuity kept yeah so how this information pushed me so basically this information is very important in this method how how important is it and how how can i achieve it very simple i just need to extrude this um, uh, or, um ellipsoid yeah which all which gives information as i'm going to do extrude just a solid uh, just just the surface and this edge and the edge solid nobody and this edge yeah this edge of that extruded profile give me information about the first point because the any point i will create there is opposite so now another point will be continuity yeah so now i will try to make a blend between this profile and that profile yeah and you see i've got the opposite situation not circle but round now i I've pushed that surface to be in my pose in my shape. Yeah. Now I just need to delete that and mirror it on the other side of my object. So now I'm sure as long as I've placed in the right position my profile. Yeah. So this profile is not in the center of that object. So first must be in the center. Then I can make. Uh, it's not. You see. It's just. A little bit of a little bit of side I could yeah now it's gonna be better now I have to extrude with solid off and now I have to blend I can of course um, decrease amount of that speed but I'm happy with I'm happy with with luck like just gently yeah and there uh, and then I can delete that and then mirror shoot yeah that that information that uh, situation what I've done gives me perfectly smooth joining here and also give me a nice and beautiful shape here which in this case is oval yeah and this case is this case was um, just automatic circle yeah and the same situation is there yeah if i want to keep 
if I want to keep it uh, the shape I want, it can be any shape, yeah, as long as it's not too complicated. Because if it's too complicated, then then the the, the cannot be uh, pro proceed to to the manufacturing method, yeah, or to the the other uh, purposes of your usage. Okay, the same situation is there when I'm going to extrude that and then I hope it's in the middle it is here all right and then try to make blend <coughs> okay of course you can change them um, uh, change it as you as you like and also you can adjust because the speed is here uh, speed of that surface base of that mm, distance uh, <coughs> so if I will now take that cylinder and put it here and make a blend here the shape is gonna be totally different it's not even similar to the shape which I have already made previously yeah. so you have to know but then you have to make a blend in the middle between those shortened edges so that's the method that's the first method the second method which is also great the second uh, method of product producing that kind of shape here is just to make make your own shape yeah because this one, th those shapes are great, and potential of that you already know. If you see and see the environmental map, play um, like uh, spread it on the, on those shapes. They are very smooth and nice continuity and and beautifully organically shaped uh, smoothness. The same here. It's a little bit more technical, but it's still you can adjust this uh, bionic shape yeah it looks great uh, but now i can make it some kind of my own structure not exactly uh, not exactly um, a kind of using uh, um, any information from from the surface it's just my own shape like like I say I decide to to put there the arch so I'll put the arch here and there and my sh shape of my arch would be just just the way I want yeah like that for example yeah does not contain any information about curvature which is great which is great or not depends and in this in this situation when you know that the surface is flat you can just place you can just make it by revolve yeah you've got the axis between two points of that circles basically yeah so this is much much different way yeah it's more related to mm, more related to this yeah to this option yeah of course the size of that wheel that circle here and there it's a little bit different but it's not a problem yeah it's a yeah, it's just a matter of making the smaller object here and then bigger here yeah but the the, the most uh, important is to remember that there is no sharp edges in this situation you've got sharp edge which which you use which normally in uh, nature does not exist yeah always there is some kind some kind of curvature even the very sh the most sharpened knife when you get closer when you zoom it to macro there is carved yeah there is carved on the edge but anyway so in this situation it is the same way and at the end you just making the, the the fillet here and you've got it but the fillet is much different yeah fillet is more technical if this fillet is 15 mm, millimeters yeah uh, di diameter 15 millimeters yeah so you can more or less take two of that size and cut it through yeah cut it in into that shape anyway it looks nice it looks different it depends what you like and um, yeah the same situation is here but in this case we're not going to use revolve 
because it's not possible to use revolves because revolves require flat planar surfaces to, to place the, the edges to stick the edges to that um, so in this situation when I create let's say arch like like I did before with a size like that I can just try to make two sweep two rails the first rail and the second rail and a profile yeah and it's the same situation and in this case basically you can adjust because you know that the comment sweep to raise command use profiles so we can take that profile and place different profile or, or place different profile here so let's try to make it yeah let's try to place that profile somewhere here different just to just for uh for for the for the scientific method let's say for research scientific research oh yeah let's do it here there from the top view let's get the profile like that yeah so we've got a two two datas and now on that data we can pre prepare some profile but of course i have to duplicate that I have to duplicate because otherwise it will be just a part of the of the profile. So I have to copy and paste, and then I have to kind of if I will find the, the center. Oh yeah, I won't find the center. So I have to mirror one of those profiles. Mirror. And here too. Like that. We don't need that profile and that profile. And now you can adjust just those profiles separately as you like yeah so let's say i want to keep sweep to raise one second and now the profiles two three four and i have to close sweep here see so this is the profile i wanted i've created this is the the most favorite my my most favorite method here because it gives me the most control of, of the objects, most control of any surface. I can make changes as I want. Yeah. So let's see. Look, uh, I'll record my history. This record history is to control that surface. So I re I'll turn the record history on for for a second, and I'll show you something. Yeah. So now I'll take the two sweep. One, two, one, two, three, four enter close it enter and then if i will take those profiles right now yeah and adjust them by changing any point of this profile let's say i want to have yeah, it should automatically change because the history remembers remembers those profiles this is very interesting you see the shape will not be uh, very sophisticated right now but anyway i can control it by those points yeah life control it somehow yeah so this is something i like and we've got a bunch of uh, tests a bunch of experiments made of different techniques of creating. So basically, each one contains at least one of the comments you know, which is blend. And also, to sweep two rails. Yeah, that's all you know. The basically all creation in 3D is based on on those comments. Yeah. Now, please questions. Out of tutorial, so you see what I mean. Okay, because this is partly I will partly answer by, by the question. Yeah. So let's say I want to have a rectangle here like that yeah where is that rectangle it's there so if i will now make a hole like so yeah so <clears throat> you can now make a blend you can try okay 
what is happening right there. You see? We've got a blend. But the problem is with that blend that the surfaces which have been created here intersecting with each other. I mean they are making they are rounding, they are making kind of uh, I'll show you. They are they are going up there making loop and going back there so they not proper they not properly constructed see I'll, I'll show you see what's happening this is the trouble yeah this is huge trouble because they are intersecting somewhere and they are not actually they not proper proper shapes to make anything with this any cutting any manufacturing any cnc anything maybe printing when you when you work them on them but they not you they useful actually so that's why it's very hard you can use it for visualization visualization purposes or something like this okay but it's not but they're not exactly right if you want to have nice smooth shapes of course depends what of the purposes of using yeah if you want to just make a nice 3d object you can use it you can make text text yuck let's say i will take the a B A one letter will be easier yeah so then you have to work a little bit on it yeah you have to work on it uh, but you are able to make it I've got a not what I wanted I want to carves yeah but the letters that a different problem because the letter is not just a round shape yeah. <coughs> the letter the letter must be hey come on you you see this uh, this is more more troubles yeah what to do first yeah yeah you have to delete that one well you can't cut through but if you want to run shapes there are two narrow edges there are, there's going to be huge problem to control that and this is this shapes this this methodology is not exactly for that purposes for this one not specifically to but if you want to make the, make it right you have to think about the round edges yeah so i will take the round rectangle here and i can do as long as the as long as the the edges as are properly smooth I can make a holes, make those holes, and easily make a blend between them. And I can control it smoothly as a circle. So they must be more or less close to the to that shape. Of course, it's, as you see. Now we have a problem too. They are, they are intersecting each other uh, which, with uh, the, themselves too. But if I'll decrease amount of that, if I will um, make it bigger, yeah, they are they are getting better. Yeah, or uh, but uh, they still there are problem. Yeah, there are problem for that. But they are working much better with that uh, ideology instead of. Uh, instead of making complicated shapes you can try it, I wouldn't say it's impossible by but in my situation when I'm creating objects is pointless yeah. and uh, the same situation here I can make smooth nice edge uh, surface make uh, blend and control it yeah in different way and now it's much much nicer and that's what exactly I that's exactly what I want yeah they are they are able to control so I can do the same, uh, the same on each surface, and try how they beha behaves, 
and each shape is possible let's say triangle if I make triangle over there the triangle must also be rounded yeah I can make it not rounded but it, the effect would be difficult to, to game because the have to also be, be edges inside the fillets the the, the, the smooth fillets between, between so I have to kind of fillet it to control it and now the more the more narrow this fillet here is there will be much more difficult to create this blend between in that kind of uh, circumstances so let's say here see it's gonna be huge trouble it's gonna be too narrow very very narrow and the, the, even if I will decrease amount of curvature there there's gonna be problem you see <coughs> So you have to really be careful. You have to really, uh, you really try to solve and, and um, do not get to that point when the surfaces are crossing each other, because this is this is dangerous. The best situation is that, but this is very the simplest way. Yeah. So only solution is in the sa and the same situation is when you place the arch over there. If you want to place your own your own uh, shape you know, if you place it too uh, uh, too brave too, um, too too smooth so then those edges will not fit that amount of speed you will see in a second I'll show you sweep to raise one two profile see the same situation you have to uh, the, all of those shapes is just a matter of experiments and this is it yeah. so now I'll show the last part of that tutorial I try to make this object as you see not precisely as it is but to be as close as possible or maybe <coughs> just a rough idea because all I want to say all I want to apply is as you see the beautiful created offset of this interior shape and uh, related to out outside shape that's that's something which is which is the idea what interests me about that and also the inside shape is also the offset of that shape which is also cool yeah look looking really great yeah which is something i like so let's go to the right now <coughs> and uh, Let's just hide it for a second and I'm going to place a sphere over there like that okay and I'm going to rebuild that sphere with a not here with there let's say 20, 12 is enough or maybe maybe a little bit less in a, in a vertical six is enough five. Yeah, like that. It does not have to be very, very uh, sy uh, symmetrical in a top direction. Okay, now I'm just going to scale it. It's going to be. Uh, it looks like like Easter egg right now, and I'm going to squash it a little bit there, like this, and maybe now I will make some adjustments in a shape like a little bit like this direction a little bit that direction uh, maybe here just to yeah it's okay it doesn't have to be very uh, very similar and now I'm I need to make that uh, that edge here to be very very uh, nice placed like an offset probably you know what I do I will just create a line and I will I will project that line over that object 
Yeah, now I've got a. Uh, to jest... <coughs> okay. Let's go and put it up because it's not working. Now it should work. Yeah. Okay, so I have to make some adjustments because it's not working the same time. The same way does not work in the previous lesson. So I have to make something I don't like to make. So I have to ch trim right now a little bit. This is the sphere. Sphere has really is really great, but not always. So I'm trimming right now and offsetting this on the other side. Now will help. And now I've automatically have the the uh, outside shape, and I just need to offset that on one direction, which is gonna be forty, hundred. Yeah, this is the first shape. Now I will make the line here. I can just actually actually trim that line, and I can make fillets over there. Okay, and now I will just make another offset. It's gonna be inside offset, uh, inside of that uh, speaker. What was it? I don't know. Where is it? Okay. Now it's you see as you see offset. It's not. It's failed. It's too too big. You have to also be careful about that. And the same is here, the, the fillet will not go through at some point, yeah? But anyway, I can, uh, uh, at the end, make some fillet here and fix it. Okay, and now, this will help me to trim that. It's okay. And now, This should work. This should work as a, I can now decide which way I want to. I want to turn. Rather, if I want to extrude that and make a blend, just make a blend as I try to do now. Yeah. Yeah, let's try to make a blend with tangency. Yeah, it's not working well. I don't like it. Maybe I'll decrease. And also, yeah, it doesn't look fun. And also, in this situation, I can easily create arches, and that's what I do. And it's uh, it's also interesting because at any point I like, I can create any shape I want. Let's say I want to create that point here. Yeah, this is the first shape. Another shape would be here. And I remember now that I have, I'm able to make different shapes, which is great. I can uh, create edge by controlling it by arch and then just change that arch. Yeah, maybe a little bit, a little bit more. So I don't need that profile, yeah? I'll make it different way. But if I want to use this, uh, use offset, then I will need that, yeah? But it depends on you, yeah? So then I will use sweep to raise. So that's the way, that's the, that's the normal, that's the practical um, method of using that, that. Nah, it's shit here, yeah? You have to just find the be the best way for that solution. I think this is this is the best way, which is extruding 
the, the way I showed you at the, at the beginning, extruding, making blend, is is a very actually common to to make those mistakes, not mistakes, to make those to, those tryouts, yeah, and then to make experiments, yeah. That's what I what I like to do, and then instead of creating smoothness here, I will the uh, the second edge I will create just a position, and now it looks like like strange, maybe the other way around, like that, maybe just the position, depends. That's what what is the the power of right now, yeah. And then it starts to look like a product, and then I can, I can connect those those two objects, those two surfaces, and make an, uh, on the edge, I can I can make a the, the, like a flat uh, flat surface, flat piece of surface. I'll just make a uh, both sides. Offset here and delete that inside part. Yeah, and I've now I could make a chamfer, but I will not. Uh, I'm not sure how chamfer beca behave at the edges, at the round edges. Probably gonna be the size gonna vary. And now I can place the profile I want to extrude on that. So, so in this case, I can let's say make. make something I will use for this is here so I'll let's make I'm do, I'll do it very fast yeah kind of bar with, with the light so this is the project new project of mine yeah here and then I can place I can place the offset over there Maybe one millimeter. All right. I'm doing it fast, so don't look at quality. Just look at the method because the method is more important or more important there. Uh, something went wrong. Okay. If you don't want to cooperate, I will make a round shape. Not usually making that, but. No. All right. So now I close it. And. I've got a profile. See here. The profile will help me now to make it to make the nice edge and now it's professional looking edge. So now I'll make sweep two rails. One. In this case the edge is not full, so I have to merge two edges. Let's merge th those. Maybe let's check out if those are uh, merged. Okay. <coughs> now sweep to raise one, two, three. Okay, and one, two, three. Okay. You see, you've got a belt here around profile which closes those two and connects them so in visualization you can make make it the make this object light flash it's great yeah so that's uh, that's the fast conceptualizing yeah, now i can say i've made some great fantastic design